All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 70 of ASA. Real quick, before I get started, I just wanted to say thank you for helping this series reach it to episode 70. That's kind of amazing. So thank you for always tuning in, asking questions, leaving likes. You know, you guys are awesome. Anyways, let's get into the questions, starting with Obi-Wan Animations. And he says, ASA, do you like dogs better or cats? So personally, I love both dogs and cats very, very much, but I'm going to go with dogs because I have have a dog i love both but i'm gonna go with dogs oh my goodness next question is from certified scout studios and he says asa have you ever and will you ever try stop motion on your channel it's possible that someday i will i probably won't i don't really like the idea of sitting there for hours just taking pictures basically of something over and over and over moving it like a centimeter at a time i just don't think that sounds like something i would like to try to do but maybe someday i'll give it a try and maybe I'll actually really like it. As of right now, I've never tried it and I don't have any ideas or plans to try it anytime soon, so no. Next question is from EK Starlord and he says, what is your thoughts on Star Wars Tales of the Jedi trailer? As far as I'm aware, because I tried looking it up on YouTube, I can't find any trailers. I could be just being stupid and missing it, so technically I haven't seen the trailer because I'm not going to bother watching like a very low quality leaked one, so I haven't seen it, so I don't have any opinions, but when an official trailer does come out then I'll watch it. Next question is from Jedi Master and he says ASA McDonald's or Burger King? Potato thank you for the potato. I'm gonna go with McDonald's. I haven't had Burger King in such a long time but McDonald's is just a lot better honestly but I don't eat fast food burgers or anything really ever. But I do really like fries from McDonald's and their coffee is pretty good too. Next question is from Mr. Blue, which is funny because we're just talking about coffee and he says ASA Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. I feel like that's kind of not fair. Oh, and he also says potato, potato. So thank you for the potatoes. Anyways, I feel like that's not really fair because I don't drink coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. I like their donuts, but Starbucks doesn't have donuts. But if going for coffee, then Starbucks because Starbucks is good, right? It's expensive and kind of not worth it but it's still good and our very last question is from m pen but he technically has five questions written in his comments so this might take a few minutes so the video's not over just yet anyways his first question is what is your favorite type of stormtrooper based on occupation and armor design and then he lists a bunch of like examples def trooper scout trooper purge trooper it can be from legends or canon so honestly i love just pretty much all the stormtrooper designs because stormtroopers are cool but i'm gonna go with just the classic stormtrooper like that's just i think what my favorite is i've always liked the classic stormtrooper ever since i was a kid and so i just think they're very cool number two is if lego returned to doing may the fourth exclusive minifigure poly bags again which characters would you most like to see honestly i'm not too sure how to answer this question because i would pretty much just like anything i think though that if I gotta say I would say just like stormtroopers or clone troopers not really named characters like Luke or someone though that can be cool I just think non-named characters like a plain stormtrooper or clone trooper would be cooler number three who is the weirdest and obscure Star Wars character you know that you would like Lego to make into a minifigure as I would like to see geode the Jedi a literal sentient boulder that is force sensitive like something for April Fool's for my choice of character this is a very interesting question but unfortunately i don't have any ideas for an answer i just think that lego could continue to make some very weird and obscure characters from star wars but not sure how to answer this question so sorry fourth question is thoughts on the phase two commander cody and the general thoughts on how the more vocal parts of the community are just either loving it or hating it after all that fuss that happened to get to it i am excited to get a phase two cody i think that lego knocked it out of the park i think he looks really cool especially the fact that they now implemented those holes in the phase two helmet so you can stick the orange visor in there that's going to be really cool to see i can't wait to get my hands on the minifigure i am absolutely loving it so i'm really excited to get one honestly i don't really know what the community is saying i kind of stopped watching videos of 
more popular people that talk about this kind of stuff. I'm sure that there's a lot of people complaining that there's something wrong with it. The fuss to get to it though, I don't really think was that big of a deal. It wasn't nearly as bad as like, we won a 501st battle pack kind of like crap where it was like just constantly badgering Lego like, do this, do this, do this because we're fans and we want blah blah blah, you know? So I don't really think that there was much fuss for this. I do think it was annoying when people complained, oh, again, we're not getting a phase two code and now we're finally getting one, it's cool. I will say one thing that's interesting is the fact that it's in a $140 set. I feel like that's kind of sucky for people that maybe can't even afford like a $50 set. It would have been much cooler to get in like a cheap set. But honestly, I don't really know entirely how to answer this question. So hopefully I answered it well enough. And the last question is, as someone who likes to cook and bake as a hobby, I would like to ask my potato question. How many potato dishes or sides can you name off the top of your head and which is your favorite? What's Potatoes. Right. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. So this is probably the best question out of all your questions. So to name some off the top of my head as you worded it, we got mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, fried potatoes. I don't know if this counts, but chips because chips are good. Fries, I don't know if those count either because technically they're made in, in a deep fryer, which is cooking, right? I don't know. Mashed potatoes are probably my favorite though, so yes, but potatoes are cool and awesome, and so yes. Also, here's a couple of potatoes for going through all my Star Wars questions. Potato, 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 potato. So thank you for the six potatoes for each question asked, and an extra for the one I didn't give that first time I asked for ASA. Thanks and sorry for the long drawn out questions. I just had a lot on my mind about Lego Star Star Wars. Hope you're doing well. Can't wait to see what comes next. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, thank you for the questions. This was a very long question and comment to answer. So thank you for the questions. And that's going to actually do it for this episode of ASA. So thank you everybody for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed. And of course, ask a question or two for the next episode of ASA. And I will pin my favorite to the top, which means you get to go first. But until next time, have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time.